Hi guys, this is Annie. I hope you all are doing great today. And today I have this wonderful mess in front of me of my favorite products on my must-have list. Now, before I start this video, there's a couple things I want you to know. The first thing is this is the items that work for me. These are just my favorites. You may have your own and you can please share that with me. I will appreciate it. But this video is for people who, you know, who's just looking for stuff and they may not know what to use and the purpose of it. I will go through some of them with you. I will also tell you where to find them and the prices. Now, usually I try to keep my videos a little bit on a reasonable time so it doesn't become boring and it doesn't become too lengthy for you guys. But unfortunately, because I have so many wonderful products I'd like to share with you, this one is going to take a little time today. So if you don't have the time now, come back to it because I do think you like the products and the prices that I have. So we're going to do them in categories. We'll go through them one category at a time. And for the ones that needs a little bit of explaining, I'll give you a brief description of how to use it and what's the purpose for it. So stick around and let's get started. All right, my sweethearts. So here I have my best five base coats that I use for myself and I just want you to take a look at them before I briefly go over them with you and uh, as you can see there are five different things so let's get started I am going to take them all away and we'll bring them back one at a time so the first one I have here to share with you is the big peel off base coat by Sally Hansen now this is a great product uh, because if you are doing glitter this is really great for that. That's what I use this for, glitter polish. Glitter polish is beautiful, but they're a pain in the rump to remove. It's like scrubbing it off, it's like peeling it off, and it just won't come off. So I found this, and I have used it, and thank goodness somebody created this because this is really, really great. So basically, the application for it is you go ahead and you apply this first to your nail, regardless if you have layered nails or if you have a gel base coat or any sort of acrylic coating on your nails it works on every nail type you have and um, you go ahead and you do an application off it and you wait until it's dried completely after that's dry you go ahead and you apply the glitter polish and then you can go and apply your top coat as usual it's fine the only one detail you need to know about this product is after the application of this they do not recommend that you use hot water on your hands because it's just going to soften it up and peel it off immediately the removal process is just as easy you get yourself a cuticle pusher and you start from the cuticles and you gently push up and it starts to peel off very gentle it's a great product to have now I found this on Amazon for the cheapest price of five dollars and 44 cents moving on to the next product I have the jealous base coat now for those of you who haven't seen this this is an absolutely great product I'll tell you why I do not like to use gel polishes because personally I do not like to have to soak it off very often and being that I use regular nail polishes I found this little product and I found this a while back and um, it's great it works like a gel polished and it's also great for those of us who do not like to use gel polish but want to try those pigments that's coming out the mirror pigments the holographic pigments the metallic pigments the powdered stuff I'm talking about you can actually use this and it works so you don't have to get gel polishes and I, this one I found at Sally's Beauty and it was six dollars and nineteen cents you could also find it on Amazon but it's going to be more expensive so if you don't have a Sally's Beauty next to you you can probably go online and find them as well and that's where you can just order a bunch of items from them so again this is Jealous Base Coat by American Classic and six nineteen for this bottle here and it lasts forever the third thing that I have on my list that's also a great product is my yellow stopper. Now, if I'm not having a layer on my nails to protect my nails, this is great. It does work on my wrap as well, but it really works great on natural nails from being tinted or getting stained from heavy usage of nail polish. So I do recommend this, guys. It's a wonderful, wonderful product for that. The application is simple. You go ahead and you apply 
a coat of this. You let it dry for a couple seconds and then you go ahead and you apply whatever nail polish you want to use on top of that. And it really does protect your nails. So this is by American Classic and I found this also at Sally's and this was $7.29 for this bottle here. Moving on to the next, I have a fast drying base coat, which you don't really see all the time. But this one I found, and this is by Posh, and it is a fast drying base coat. It works great. Again, you use this as one application before you apply your nail polish on top, and that will also help to prevent a little staining off your nail, or it just sets the nail polish really nice and smooth. This one I found at Amazon, and this was $5.99 for this size, which is a 0.5 fluid ounce bottle. And last but not least, we have my regular base coat polish. And this one is by Beauty Secrets. And this one you can find at Sally's for $7.79 for a bigger bottle of a 2.5 fluid ounce. And this is a great product to have. Again, if you have natural nails and you're trying to get the polish to settle in a little better and you use a base coat, this you can go ahead and buy this. I'm not using my wrap on my nails. This is what I use as my base coat. So now that we have finished with the base coats, let's move on to the next. So here we have now my top coats. And as you can see, I do have a couple bottles of different kinds. So let's get started here. So as you guys know, my favorite is the out the door fast drying top coat. Now let me tell you why I like this one a lot compared to the others. Because when I put out videos for you guys, I use regular nail polish. This is very thin. If you look at this polish it's very thin and it dries faster than all the others that I have that's why I like this one and I say it's my best as you know I complain all the time about having to wait there for nail polish to dry so I do go through these faster than the rest of them and you can find this large bottle at Sally's Beauty and this one is $12.49 they also have the smaller bottles and those go for $5.99 and those are just a 0.5 ounces. So if you do decide to buy this, just invest and buy the bigger bottle of the 2.3 ounces because it's going to be worth it. And you plus, you'll save a lot. And they last forever. I put out a lot of videos for you guys. And even when I'm not putting on videos and I'm doing regular manicures, you know, a bottle like this lasts me for over a year already. So if you definitely looking for a very quick giant top coat to use on regular nail polish, I recommend this one. Moving on to the next, we have the very popular Sash Feet. And I can see why this is also popular. I just recently purchased this and I do know why people like it a lot. I happen to still like my out the door better, but I do understand why people like the Sash Feet. And I'll tell you the difference. Right? Um, first of all, let's go through the prices. The Sash Feet is on the higher end because it's such a great top coat as well. I found the set that I'm going to show you here of a large bottle and this is a 4 fluid ounce bottle as well as the 0.5 fluid ounce bottle and a refill cap and I found this at a very very cheap price when I was shopping around. This one I found on Amazon for $13.94. You could find it in other sites, but they cost about $25, $26. So my best bet is to get this and get it as a set because the small bottle alone can run you up to $9. So just invest in the whole thing. If you like Sesh, this is where you can find it on Amazon for the best price, $13.94. Now, going to details. The Sesh Feet is a nice, fast-drying top coat. If you like to put glitter and confetti and beads and little decorations on your nail, it is much, much thicker than the out the door product. Let me see if I could show you that. It is super thick, but it also is a very fast drying top coat. So this is going to definitely be one of my favorites when I'm applying any type of decoration on my nails. Now moving on to the next, we have the Porsche. And this one is actually right in between the sash and the out the door. It's medium as far as consistency, and it works just as great as the other two of them. I actually use this if I am looking for something a little thicker, like if I do nail stamping, above nail stamping, above nail stamping, you know, double and triple nail stamping, I would use this 
over the outer door because it's it's not as thick as the sash it's right there but i don't have to apply two coats um so you guys will definitely see me using that more now on the videos as well this now you can get on amazon as well for five dollars and fifteen cents for the box you can also get a dual set that will also come with the base that i show you before but it's a little more costly it's about thirteen dollars for the set if you're looking okay but again, this is the Porsche on Amazon for $5.15. Next, we have the water base top coat. Now, this is a very special top coat. In a sense, it's water base. So I only use this particular top coat when I'm doing nail pigments. I have found out that you could do nail pigments without applying a gel nail polish. As you heard me say before, I do not like gel polish, so I found a loophole. I'll share that with you as well. But this is great for using the pigmented powders that's out there. You could use this on there and it doesn't change the form or tint or break up the pigments once it's applied to your nails. This is by S & Company. And again, it's a water-based top coat, and this is a little bit on the higher end. I found this on Amazon for $10, but it is one of the best top coats out there for doing pigments and stuff like that, okay? And last but not least, on my top coat must-have list, I have my big matte top coat. So yes, guys, lately I have been doing a lot of matte nail polish, and this is great. Um, when you're stamping, you cannot use a regular matte polish and then apply a regular top coat over it because then you're going to have a shine and it defeats the purpose of a matte nail polish. This is great. This changes any polish to matte, any nail polish you use into matte. So this is what I use when you're doing matte. As a matter of fact, this I'm going to do a video later on and you will see the difference in it. It takes about a couple minutes to dry up you do one application off it after you do your manicure and in about five ten seconds you go ahead and you see the difference of shiny being removed from your nail polish this you can get at your local drugstore or i have found it on amazon for a cheaper price of 544 so if you like matte go with the sally hansen big matte all right so now that we've done with this let's move on to the next category and for that i will go through with you products that I use besides nail polish and stuff. So let's start with my latex. So here we have it guys, a couple latex. Um, of course, these are good for you if you're not allergic to latex, but these definitely help with the cleanup process when you're doing your manicures. Now I usually buy the blue one. These I find on Amazon, these both of them. And um, I usually buy the blue one because you could see it a little better and you don't have to look for it um, so this is my preference over the the color of the latex i do have the clear one here as you could see and also the other one is from Poon. but let me tell you a little bit about the the teal and the clear one here these can both be found on amazon the clear one is actually a little more expensive it's $8.99 and the blue one it's $6.99 and what i usually do is i get myself a little tiny nail polish bottle and I fill some in this. That's how I go ahead and do the application around the nail. I love this product because it definitely does help when it's time to clean up around the edges of your nail. It really does help with that stamping. So this is a must have as well if you do not want to get your fingers and stuff like that all messed up, this really does help. Now, if you don't like this color, if you don't like the consistency of it because this is thick, that's one reason why I prefer it, you could always go ahead and use the Poo-In latex tape. And this is the same way you go ahead, you apply it around the finger. So you go ahead, you stamp, and then you remove it. The only thing I don't like too much, I have to say about this, is um, it's thin compared to this one you can apply one thick layer and if you want to get a nice thick layer you have to apply the the poo in a couple times over as well as different latex out there but this is also a good product to have if you don't like that color like I say and if you can really deal with the sitting there and peeling off the tape and the poo in you can also get at Amazon for $8.99 again I prefer to get the bigger one because of the price uh, 
This again was $6.99 on Amazon and this is actually, I believe this was a 4 ounce container compared to the small bottles here which is 0.5 ounces. So I mean you do the math, you know what I mean? And if you don't like the, the teal on this, you can go ahead and get the clear. But again, my preference over it is because of the consistency of that, which is the thicker version. That's what I have for you for my latex. Now that we're done with the latex, the next thing I want to show you is nail hardener. This is for people who have natural nails without any layering or any shield or any acrylic wraps or anything like that. Um, unfortunately, my bottle got a little beat up, so I'll have to give you the details on this. This is by Beauty Secrets, and this could be found on the Sally site or Sally store and this is the 2.3 ounce bottle which is a big bottle as you can see and it's for seven dollars and seventy nine cents and you apply it as a regular nail polish if you're not doing any painting on your nails um, like I said it is a nail hardener so you know if you have natural nails and you wear them naked so to speak not polished you can go ahead and buy this it's a great nail hardener it really does strengthen your nails um, I used a lot of this prior to wrapping my nails and it works really really well so again the name of it is beauty secrets and you can find this at the Sally store or online as a matter of fact and that will be $7.79 for the big 2.3 flow ounce bottle. Moving on to my next favorite product here um, is my soak off product. Being that I do have a gel wrap, I do soak it off, you know, a couple times for the year. Um, matter of fact, I try to soak it off and redo them, you know, let my fingernails breathe for a little while. And this is one of the better products that I, I have found than using nail polish remover because the acetone in a nail polish remover is very harsh. Um, this is also a very strong chemical just to let you know it doesn't burn it doesn't do anything like that but it is a chemical so you know soaking your fingers in it it is going to leave your fingernails a little bit dry and around the fingers so you have to go ahead and hydrate your nails and coat it with cuticle oil and stuff like that okay now the best way i found to use this is by getting yourself a little soak off bowl and this is the best soak off bowl that i have and let me tell you why the soak off bowl here comes apart and you go ahead and you fill about an inch worth of hot water in here and then you go ahead and you put this on top of it you lock it down and you fill it off with the soak off polish you don't need to fill it all the way up you just need to fill it as much as it'll cover your nails you stick your hands in there and in about five minutes you can pretty much peel out all the gel on your nails um, like I mentioned, I do have a gel base coat to protect my nails and when I do this, it does not take me more than 10 minutes to remove all the gel completely off my nail without damaging my nail. So this two together works like a miracle. The bowl you can find on eBay, the cheapest you can find it for is $2.66. What you need to know is if you order this from eBay, watch where it's being shipped from. I have ordered it. I'm very pleased with it. The shipping did not bother me. It came from Hong Kong, so it took about two and a half weeks to get to me. But I like the fact that it doesn't melt because I have had soak off bowls and soak off things on your nails and they melted with products. This one does not melt. There's no damages on this and I have been using this for quite some time now. The soak off chemical itself could be found on Amazon. And that's for $8.89 I found it there for. And this is for a huge bottle. It's for a 16 ounce bottle. So if you use this product, check it out on Amazon. Again, it's great for removing gel. Do not use the nail polish remover, guys. That really does a lot of damages to your nails. And it really gets your nails brittle. And again, if you use these two things together, you can really, really save your nails from being overly dried out from the chemical and you know damaging your fingers as well so pick these up if you do use a lot of gel nail polishes or if you do have a wrap and you have to take it out very often these two work great together now moving on to my next must-have item on my list is nail polish thinner now a lot of you guys out there think that you can thin out your nail polish when it's getting thick with nail polish remover and that works for a while. 
I used to do it myself before I found out about this nail polish remover. But what I also realized is my nail polish weren't as great as I wanted it to be. For some reason, the nail polish remover did something to it. So I picked up this, and this works great. You need to get yourself a little dropper with this nail polish thinner. I have this little guy here. And when you open up your nail polishes, when they start thickening up and getting cakey and nasty on you, just take a couple drops, shake the nail polish up, and open it back and check it out and see if it's the consistency that it should be. And if not, just add a little more. But this is a really great product, especially if you have a large collection of nail polish. I, I have so much nail polish, and sometimes I go in there and they get thick. This is a miracle worker for my nail polish. And this you can pick up on Amazon for $5.76. It's not bad at all. And the product by Super Nail, they're really, really great products. I actually used their non-acetone as well as their acetone nail polish remover. So Super Nail is definitely a good brand for that, okay? Now, last but not least, I have my cuticle oil. Now, again, it's by Super Nail. And you can pick this up at Sally's, a big container, eight ounces for $3.19. It's very cheap. And I do love this one because I do find that it softens up around the cuticles very, very well. I love it because when I put it on, it's not greasy. It doesn't shine. You know, you rub it in a little bit like that, put a little lotion on your hand and it absorbs into the skin immediately. As a matter of fact, I have it on right now, which you cannot see the oils. And I think it's really great. It's thin. This is one of the best one that I've come across. And the other one that I had before the Super Nail Cuticle Oil was Beauty Secrets. The writing came off. I have used all my Beauty Secrets, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, the Beauty Secrets Oil itself was great. And I found this one and I like this one better. But Beauty Secrets is a good product. Now, what I did was I poured in the rest of the super nail one in here so that's what you can do you can get yourself a little bottle and just pour it in to brush it on so guys that is it these are my favorite favorite must-have products on my list and like i said that you may have your favorites and you know something different and if you do and you want to share it with me please comment please write to me let me know i also try that so I do hope this video was helpful for you. And as usual, if you have any questions, feel free to write to me. I'll answer them as best as I can and as fast as I can. And thank you guys so very much for taking the time out and watching my video. And please don't forget to subscribe for my upcoming newest ones as well. Have a good day, everyone. Bye now.